Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, I am up to my neck in something I have to get finished this week, so I'll be back to normal again next week. I thought, what can I do for a video this week? And then I remembered something I started last month, but never finished. I ran out of time. And then I thought, oh, I can't be bothered. But I looked at it again just now and thought, should I finish it or not? Maybe I'll ask my Shibi Doodlers and see what you think. This is a stream of consciousness that hit me one day when I opened a magazine and saw a picture of Alice Cooper, the famous rock star. And it dawned on me that the character of Alice Cooper is completely different from the person who plays him. And I thought, could Alice Cooper actually be played by other characters too? And that set me off thinking. <laughs> Have a look and see what you think of this bit of video. Alice Cooper, the enfant terrible of the 1970s pop scene, appears to be still touring as though he hasn't aged a day. But in reality, the character of Alice Cooper has been replaced every five years and is currently being played by Frank Leibovitz from Milwaukee, who previously played the role of Justin Bieber until he felt like spreading his wings and being a little more naughty and rock and roll. The original Alice Cooper is thought to be Vincent Damon Fernier, born February the 4th, 1948, making him age 72 at the time of this video. But in fact, the real Alice Cooper was really named Alice Cooper. His father, Hooper Cooper, registered his birth while drunk and still wishing that he'd married his childhood sweetheart, Alice Christiansen, who rejected him to marry Knut Jakobsen, who later became famous for training the first dog to live on the International Space Station. Sirius had to be brought home early as he kept weeing on critical electrical installations and leaving little dumps on the exercise treadmill that astronauts kept stepping in. Oh, no. Cooper's mother, Marge, had postnatal depression and, as was the custom of the day, was fed on a diet of tranquilizers and alcohol and so missed most of Alice's childhood. Interestingly, Marge had originally played Barbara Parkins, the actress who played Anne Wells in the 1967 movie The Valley of the Dolls. Dolls being a slang term for barbiturates, which would become Marge's undoing. Life reflecting art? Or just a weird coincidence when you begin to discover that nobody is really who you think they are? Hooper Cooper, feeling remorse at giving his son a name like Alice, bestowed tough love on his son, bringing him up according to the famous How to Bring Up Your Child book, A Boy Named Sue, by renowned childcare expert Dr Spocks, who was played for a while by Johnny... Who do you really want to know? Should I finish this? Should I get back to work on it? It's a very odd story, and to tell you the truth, I haven't listened to the soundtrack again all the way through to the end, and I can't remember how it finishes. If you want me to finish this, make sure you like this. Put a comment in the box down below. And when I get back doing to proper drawing videos next week, let me know what you would like me to show you how to draw in the comments box down below. If you like what I do, click up here, come and support me on Patreon. And in the meantime, Keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.